Hi, my name is Tarun and in this video we are going to talk about attribution. Imagine that your sales team has 3 members. Social media Sophia earned the company $1000. Display ad Dean earned the company $2000. And pay per click Peter earned the company $10,000. Let me ask you, who is the best member of the team? Peter you would think. But if I were to tell you that Social Sophia brought in 100 new business leads, Display Dean brought in 30 new leads and PPC Peter brought in only 10. Now who is the most valuable member of the team? Complicated isn't it? Attribution model is a sophisticated way in terms of rules or set of rules which helps you measure which channels, posts and assets are creating sales opportunities. In the complex journey of the potential customer, it helps to assign credit to specific touch points which drove the prospects closer to conversion. For example, Kai saw a social media post of a Prada shoe, clicked on the link and went to the website to purchase it. However, on being distracted by a call, he did not complete his purchase. Prada then retargeted a customized display ad to remind Kai of his purchase. Hence, Kai googled Prada and saw a pay-per-click ad and clicked it. This time, Kai completed the purchase. In this process, which channel will you credit for conversion? One way to answer that is by using an attribution model. Some of the most common attribution models are first touch attribution, last touch attribution, linear attribution, and time decay attribution. First touch attribution assigns 100% credit to the first page that drove the prospect to your website. In the above example, the social media post. This model emphasizes upon top of the funnel marketing efforts and simply tells what is attracting people to the brand. Last touch attribution assigns credit to the last touch point or the most recent visit. The last click gets the most credit, so in the above example, pay per click or the PPC takes the cake. The linear attribution assigns an equal amount of credit to each touch point. In the above example, the social media post, display ad and the PPC get equal credit for the conversion. In time decay attribution, the credit is assigned based on the proximity of time to the conversion. This is accomplished by assigning a weighted percentage to the most recent touch points. Hence, the clicks closest to the conversion get the most credit. This can be used if the buying cycle is relatively short as this model assumes that the touch points closest to the time of sale were most important in the final decision. The default model to assign credit is the last touch model. But it is essential to look at how each channel, post and asset contributed to the conversion for the complete picture. Also, considering the product being sold and the duration of the buying cycle can help determine which attribution model is most appropriate. Let us know in the comments which attribution model worked for your business. Give us a like if you found this useful and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.